Goodbye, fantails. They're no longer producing them. Australia's favourite candy at one stage. Pascal caramels. Hit by a smooth caramel. But I, they're not even wrapped though. How can that compete, dude? It's whether fantails were eaten for the trivia on the outside wrapping or whether they were eaten for the taste. So they're both $5 a pack, full price, if you can get them. Fantails have gone out of production in July. You may still be able to get some of the big bags from some petrol stations and Kmart, but more likely on Facebook Marketplace they're about $30 a pack. Apparently one serve is three of them. The reason these have been loved since 1930 is because of the trivia on the packaging, the Fantails movie trivia. Which they apparently updated every two years, I didn't know that. Yeah. But now that people have phones with internet on them, I don't think you need trivia on packaging. You could just eat a packet of Cadbury Pastel ones and then look at your phone for trivia. Who does that? <laughs> no one, just watching Mo Most people with a phone. Who am I? Born in 1963, he is an American actor and film producer. He first gained recognition as a cowboy hitchhiker in the road movie Thelma and Louise in 1991, then had leading roles in big budget productions, A River Runs Through It, Interview with the Vampire, Legends of the Fall, and played the legendary Achilles in the movie Troy. He has given critically acclaimed performances in Seven, Fight Club, Moneyball, and Twelve Years a Slave, earning him Golden Globe Awards and Academy Award nominations. He is also a father of six children with actress Angelina Jolie. Well, now you definitely know who that is, right? Is that Brad Pitt? Yes, <laughs> even now you know. Thelma and Louise. Well, it's, oh. been, it's been so long. Like Even Fight Club, man, that's like 20 years ago I watched that. They didn't pick very good movies. Do they really update this every two years? The most recent one they had is like 2013. I feel like that's a lie. Oh, well. <laughs> Look, Fantails said that in order to keep producing them, they would have needed to spend millions on upgrades to their factory equipment, and it wasn't worth their while anymore, so maybe they fired the person who was updating these. Jeez, this is a lot harder also, than I remember. Also, PSA, dentists have warned you not to eat some of these Fantails and Minties because if you bite down into them and you've got fillings, they pull your fillings out. Wow. That is really hard. Yeah. These are very different to the last lot of fantails I ate. They were like more rectangle shaped and they were softer. They've probably had some of that um, shrinkage. So Allen's is actually a Nestle brand. And then these Pascal ones are actually a Cadbury brand. So it's Cadbury Pascal versus Nestle Allen's. The That's two big confectionery companies in Australia. Chocolate doesn't look as good. Cadbury chocolate though. Why does it look so chalky? Have you had these for ages? No, I haven't had them. But Alan's chocolate is usually pretty bad. They look quite similar. But this is more milky and that's dark. Alright. Well, All right. Don't lose any teeth or fillings. I don't have fillings. So Fantails. I'm good. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Dude, that is really hard. I'm super sticky. Like a minty. Yes. Mm. Yeah, the chocolate's not great. It's actually, no. this chocolate gives me carob vibes. You don't know about carob, but it's super like chalky and tastes like compound chocolate. Like, even Tim Tam chocolate's better than that. I can see why these... I don't know why people went so mental about buying them the last two months after they got announced. Like they well. were discontinuing them. Because I haven't bought them <coughs> for over 20 years. And I think the reason why is because they taste like crap. They're stuck on my teeth so bad. I tried to bite it and now they're just like... 
stuck around my thing. The caramel is a better bit than the chocolate, but it's so sticky and hard. Oh my gosh. Maybe the ones I ate last, they were bloody melted or something, because they seemed a lot softer. If you buy a massive one kilo bag of these from the petrol station or from Facebook Marketplace for about $30, warn your children to not bite into it too quickly because they will break your teeth. Well, there's actually a warning on the packet that they're like a choking hazard because children less than four years have limited chewing ability and could choke. And I can see why now, like they're very like hard and oh. sticky. Actually, now it's softened up a bit, it's sticking completely to my teeth. I can't get it out. Yeah, I don't know that's, that's my problem right now. <laughs> I don't actually want to eat that anymore. All right. We'll put that oh my God, you didn't throw like that, that away. I'm scared for my teeth, like literally. If I if that causes me dental issues, I'll be mad. So, moving right along. I can't even. They're like stuck on my teeth. Pascal caramels. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Linda will catch up when she's unbroken her teeth. Oh God. Oh, we have to just stick it in. Oh, her. the Cadbury chocolate man. Have better? a go. Have a go. So much better. I still got the other one in my mouth. Oh, you blew it. You gotta throw it right away. I can't. Fuck. <laughs> you know, I think she said stuck, but because their teeth are stuck together, that sounded like another word. <laughs> oh my god. The Pascal Cadbury chocolate is way thinner, but it's so much smoother and creamier. Much better. And the caramel is less hard initially and less sticky. Very chewy. Mm. But overall, well, better balance. Oh, look at that. I stuck to the other one and it helped pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you don't have fillings, otherwise it will have pulled out everything. Mm. I think the caramel in the pastels is actually more well balanced as well. It's got some like salted caramel vibes going on mm. so there's a so this is like the more modern interpretation of a fan towel so there's less environmental hazards because it's got no wrapping around it even though alan's has tried with the i'm paper packaging on the outside but still overall this has got less overall packaging they're both when you could still get fan towels last month they were both five dollars a pack full price so overall, I'd say if you've got a smartphone and you can just Google any trivia you want, just stick with these pascals. They're way better for me. I don't know about Linda. I don't know why they're not wrapped in, in one massive packet though. Like why would you open it and eat all of them? You wouldn't. You need a container or a Ziploc bag or something to put them in. Yeah, that's every lolly. Not really. Alan snakes, you need a packet. Yeah, but you can share those with people and then they would eat them. You, but this is like... You can share those. But you wouldn't eat more than one, would you? I don't, I could, I don't know. I think I could eat uh, maybe five or six. No sitting. Really? Over the course of a couple of hours. As that you're watching me. way movie. too sweet. I'd rather eat fried egg chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... Would you eat more fantails than you would pascal caramels? No. No. They're very difficult to eat. So I wish I didn't eat these because the la I remember the last lot that I had were better than these. Every Australian, every real Australian who grew up here, grew up with these. They would eat them in the car on like long car journeys and things like that. And then you would read the trivia to each other and it would be entertaining but now you just watch netflix and don't watch your ipad pay too much attention to that and you just read any fact you want on your phone if you google it and so you don't really need these sort of trivia thingies anymore so they've so they sort of feel like a something from before the year 2000 
mm-hmm. the 90s, 80s, 70s, since I've been around 1930s. <clears throat> yeah, old fashioned, and now they are no more. Yeah, obsolete. Well, kind of glad that I had them because now I won't miss them. Yeah. Now you know. You know how things change from when you're a child to when you're an adult? Yeah, disappointing. These are now a disappointment. These are alright. What rating would you give each of them? Oh, the fantails were not good. Do they get extra points for having trivia on the outside that we can't answer because it's been 20 or 30 years since we've well, watched? Well, we got the Brad Pitt thing if you just keep reading, reading, reading yeah. on. But... Like this one, it cuts off. So like you could read that and then you'd be like, I don't have the answer. <sighs> that would be annoying. Anyway, so three out of ten for the fan tales. Okay. For me, also they're a dental hazard. Two out of ten. The, mm, maybe even lower, maybe one out of ten. What? I'm scared of, I'm like scared to eat them. If you're scared to eat a food because they're like a health hazard they're not good and they've been discontinued you can't get them anymore well sorry sorry but we're probably not gonna miss you yeah and then these cadbury pascal caramels they're okay but i wouldn't buy them personally and it's not my kind of personal thing um but if you bought them i might eat one so five out of ten me too they're not they're not bad they're not something i would probably buy they're slightly still a little bit dangerous for my teeth my feelings i think but as a taste thing they're actually pretty good they might have, for an overall taste they might even be a seven but in terms of like would i go to the shops and pay five dollars to buy a bag of them probably not ever so overall seven on taste but five as an overall packet as a thing there you go well, not so great, but anyway. But this was more about saying and like an ode to fantails. And yes. A, uh, you know, you were good during childhood. You, we spent many hours reading your fun packaging, and like the yellow color, it's so like nostalgic and it like is. something you remember. But now, smartphones came in, and then now you're old fashioned, and even Allens don't want to continue producing you. I will. Goodbye. On to better and better things. <laughs> Bigger and better or just better and just better? Just better and better. Better and better. Just keep improving. Just more. More, more. More. Okay. No more. You wouldn't want a big fan tail. Okay. Smaller <laughs> fan tails. The next Maybe. Smaller big thing. and better. Yeah, that's it. All right. <laughs> Bye. You.